really busy out here in the mornings. Hi, good morning. How are you guys doing? Today is a very busy weekday, but you know what? Yesterday I got a gym injury. I was working out. I was lifting weights yesterday and somehow I've been doing this weightlifting for quite a long time, but somehow I did a mistake and I sprained a muscle from neck till the bottom. You know, I can't turn around like this. See, if I have to turn my head, I have to turn my whole body. It pains like hell. But I've got an important meeting today. It's a client's meeting. I have to do the journey. I'm really not looking hey, forward to going to today. Hey, can you take a day off today? Can no, you it's very important today. I have to go. Oh, okay. I have to. You know, my team has been working for two weeks for this. I have to present this. I'm meeting a client today. I'm going to Greenwich. It's not my usual workplace. I'm going to Greenwich. It's a beautiful place there. I've been here to this client's office quite a few times. Today I have to present it there. I have to go. My super healthy breakfast, very yummy also. We don't have time this morning, me and Pati. Pati is working from home, but um, he has a lot of work also today. So we didn't cook anything for breakfast today. But I made this in the weekend. It comes quite handy. You know, this is a carrot muffin and it has lots and lots of goodness. I usually make these veggie muffins when I have free time or in the weekends and freeze them. These make a very healthy breakfast or as an evening snack. All I have to do is take it from the freezer and thaw it in room temperature. I've used grated carrots, yellow bell peppers and green peppers, some spring onion and coriander leaves. I add a lemon zest to 4 eggs. It gives a refreshing flavor to the muffins. Salt and pepper. And some allspice. Half cup powdered oats. Another half cup whole wheat flour half teaspoon baking soda and half teaspoon baking powder. I added one fourth cup of milk. I used whole milk, but you can also make it in semi skimmed or skimmed milk or even in almond milk. I sprinkled some sesame seeds. I like the taste when it gets baked. I always make a big batch and freeze them. It helps me during my busy weekdays. Tasty and healthy. I have a few last minute changes to my presentation. I have to tweak it a little bit. And then let's get ready to office. Babe, you want me to drop? Huh? You want me to drop? Oh no, wind up. You okay. take the kids to school. Okay. Wind up. Bharti wants to drop me at the station because I can't drive now. It's a lot of pain. I can't turn or anything. I have to take a bus to the station today. Now, usually I love to walk to the station also, but it's a lot of pain now. I don't want to take any more risk. Maybe... Bharti? Yeah? Do we have any painkillers? No, we don't have. Leah? Yeah. I'll buy something. Yeah. We never have anything at home, <laughs> any tablet at home. I don't usually use it. Even if I get a headache or anything at all, I don't use any tablets. See, that's also a wrong thing, isn't it? <laughs> because I used to have some things and then every time, every year, I used to throw it away after checking the expiry date if my mom or my if my mother in life they come here they keep some medicine emergency medicine at home i don't have any medicine at all except for call paul for kids fever those things call paul except that we don't have any medicine at home touch wood let it stay like this forever <laughs> i have to buy something i really feel i can't manage i can't manage today I'm not looking forward to go, so I shouldn't say that, should I? Self-suggestion. I'm good. I'm good. I can do this. Oh. 
<laughs> Even when I shake my hand, it really, really hurts me. It really hurts. I've got a few things to finish up. And then I leave. The meeting is only in the afternoon, not in the morning. So maybe I'll have some tea before I leave something. I'll be having my lunch there today. I'll be okay. I'll be all right. <laughs> I've gone through many things. I've gone through two pregnancies while working. This is nothing. This is nothing. Pregnancy and vomiting in pregnancy, everything. This is nothing. I can do this. I thought I'll go by train, but this is easy. Yeah. I'll take the one from... Uh, um, London is right? Near the no, 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 I've taken my painkiller tablet. Let's see how long it takes. Still paining. A lot of pain. Bit better. I can't sit in the opposite direction. I feel like throwing up dizziness and throwing up. That's why I changed my seat facing the direction. Do you have that too? I'm going to take the Uber boat to Greenwich. If you come to the Waterloo station in the mornings, that is about a half seven or eight o'clock, this place will be really packed. Now it's a little bit free. <laughs> really busy out here in the mornings. <laughs> There is a boat leaving in 15 minutes. I think I can catch that. If you have the TFL travel card, you can use it in buses, tube, trains, boat, trams, a lot of transportation options. You can also use your bank card to tap on the card reader. My pain is totally gone now. I hope it holds up. I still have my tablets. I may take one more dose in the afternoon if it pains again. Otherwise, I don't want to take any tablets anymore. Let's see. It's windy now. That makes it very cold. I'm going to take the one from this pier by the side of London Eye. This is the south bank of River Thames. I can also take a train, but I love these water transports. They're like mini cruises. They usually have a cafe as well. So you can buy sandwiches or coffee on your way to work. A lot of tourists use this to see the London attractions from the water view. It is totally different. There's one ferry now. It's already leaving. I'm going to wait for the next one. See people getting off from London Eye. Can you see the pod? London Eye is pod in close up. It's a very beautiful location. Historical location. Can you see the Westminster Bridge? That one is Westminster Bridge and behind that, that's the Parliament building and here is Big Ben. It's going to be 12 o'clock soon. I'm the first one in the queue still waiting. It's a 50 minute journey. It's going to be very enjoyable, very scenic. I love seeing the iconic buildings from water view. It gives a different perspective. You can see modern attractions like London Eye and the Shard, and also the Victorian Towers in Tower Bridge, Tate Morton, St. Catherine Docks, so many places. 
it's not a sightseeing cruise but still you can see them may your thoughts are spinning round in my head i both hold sit down cuz i'm almost there now i see you through the window when i'm walking on air but i want to let you know and i know I see the tower bridge almost every day when I go to work but when you see it from water the perspective is totally different it looks different Got the memory still popping up Show me your heart show you mine You go first I will wine You must so lovely mix of contemporary and historical buildings few of my colleagues come to work by boat every day i wish i was one of them <laughs> i like it so much we are here at greenwich now kati sark is the most famous tea clipper it has transported tea from china to england The ship was badly damaged by fire in 2007 I think so 7 or 2008 I'm not sure I read it in newspapers half of it was damaged and they restored it and the queen reopened it I'm here now my meeting may go on for about an hour or one and a half hours after that I have a lot of time before I go home so I'm going to take you around Greenwich the surrounding places here It's a very beautiful place and also historically very important place. I'll show you around. See you in a bit. If you like the content what I create, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. You can also leave your comments down below to keep in touch with me. I'm really starving. There is a Greenwich market there. I'm going to go and see if I can buy some food there. Lots of lunch time here. <laughs> Lot of tourists as well because the Greenwich is a very touristy place. Lots and lots of tourists. People come here to see the Meridian Line, Kati Sark, the ship that I showed you already, Maritime Museum, Royal Observatory, and Greenwich Market is one of them. It's a very old market. There is also a vintage market, but I don't know if it will be there today. If it will be open, I'll check it out. I want to eat something spicy. The weather is cold. Something hot and spicy. Maybe Indian food. Last time when I came here, I ate pancakes. I remember Nutella pancakes. It was awesome. But today I want something Indian. Muffins and cakes. I saw a cheese stall as well, different types of cheese. Quite a lot of them. If my kids came here, they would have really enjoyed to see the mini pancake van. It is so cute, red and white stripes. It's really nice. Vegan garden. I'm not a vegan. I'm just a vegetarian, not vegan. They've got a lot of vegan things here. These days, you get vegan dishes everywhere, don't you? even pubs everywhere vegan is available everywhere nice delicious desserts are here as well a lot of book shops gifts from the himalaya let's see shawls i think himalayan shawl is really soft isn't it it's famous for that i don't have it but i've heard they've got really nice fabric wool nice Well, I'm not shopping today. I'm here just to eat my lunch. You just look around. These are all bracelets, earrings. Yes, yes. They've got nice collections also. If I was in the mood for shopping, then it'll be really nice. Because maybe sometime in the weekend, one day after this, I'll see these are all really nice. Aren't they puppets? Yeah. I thought they were toys, but they're all puppets. Really nice, isn't it? <laughs> My girl should have come. <laughs> They would have enjoyed this place. Really nice place. All the wooden items, chopping board, different types of chopping board. 
Oh my God, teacups. My weakness is tea sets. Oh, they are not tea sets. They are candles. Lovely. You know, my weakness is buying tea sets. Do I collect tea sets? Wherever I see, collect them. Nice dolls. What is this one? Some books, I guess. Bargain bags, pound ten. Bargain bags. Oh wow, these are real plants. The cactuses for keeping in the desk. They're really nice, isn't it? Lovely. I'm going to check here. There was nothing that I fancied there. I'm going to check in this street. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> the mannequin dress, the skirt at the top is so beautiful. They have lovely clothes here. Nice accessories, beautiful. Mm. This alley has a lot of shops, cute little shops. It's really nice. Oh, wow, they've got a bakery here. I love these kind of petite bakeries, you know, the French style small bakeries. I love them. Not the supermarket chains, little bakeries. Wow, there is an Indian restaurant here. But let's see if it is nice. Mani and Bhaji, Pani Puri, Pani Puri, Dahi Puri, Chili Paneer, Alu Tiki Channa Masala. That sounds nice for a starter. I want to have a starter in Maine. Alu Tiki Channa Chat. This is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of a tumbler type. It's nice, very Indian type. This is my Alu Tiki Chana chant. It's colorful. It's so lovely and colorful. <laughs> I'm so glad I came to this restaurant. It looks nice. Let us taste how it is. This is my main course. Starter was really nice, very, very tasty. I've got some chili cheese naan as well. I don't know if it'll be really spicy. Maybe not. A little bit more curry. I don't usually go to restaurants alone. I always go with family or with friends or colleagues, someone. But today I wanted to eat Indian food <laughs> all by myself. The food was nice but it was a little spicy because I don't usually eat spicy food and also I don't eat uh, any heavy food for lunch but today I saw the Indian restaurant I wanted to eat. It was nice. The vintage market is open. I'm so glad it's open today. Last time I came here with a colleague of mine, she only showed me all these places. Nice. Oh, they're selling the vintage type hats. It's really nice. There's a food stall. Let's see what unique items we find today. Sometimes I really get these hidden gems, but sometimes it'll be a total waste of time. But today, let me try my luck how it's going to be. It's kind of the flea market, you see. You don't know what you're going to find there. Lots of jewelry items. I'm not here to see the jewelry. I want to see some decorations, you know. Lovely decorations jackets and stuff no i don't want these i want home decorations the vintage items i love those things the little mirrors gemstones and shells are here i want the things to put on the mantelpiece you know and the fireplace mantelpiece kind of things that's what i want let's see 
there are many stars there is a section inside also last time when i came it was not here these things lots of interesting shops Oh, one pound per item, but if you buy six of them, it's five pounds. That's a good deal. I'm going to find some. Let me see if we find nice ones. Oh, wow, the friends one. Friends currency, if you want to collect it, it's available here. <laughs> I'm a friends fanatic too. <laughs> All the collectible coins. Ones. If you are a collector, this place is a treasure for you. It's amazing, the olden days, notes, money notes, coins, everything. Wow. They really have lovely vintage items. I wanted to buy so many things. I just bought five of bracelets for my kids. They love vintage things. That's all I bought. Five bracelets for six pounds. It was a good deal. I'll show you where the meridian line is. This is the Greenwich Park. The prime meridian line is here. This line represents the historic prime meridian of the world, just as the equator divides the northern and the southern hemispheres. We have come here many times with our family, parents and in-laws, with everyone. I'll see if I have any old pictures of us visiting here. We've been here many, many times. You need to go up the hill to see the Meridian Line. You know, you can take this right side route or the left one also. They both go there. You need to climb up the hill. But it's not that steep. It's an enjoyable walk. It's really nice. It doesn't need that much of a fitness. Anybody can do it. Anybody with reasonable fitness can do it. This is the place. I'm going home now. I need to cross this river, you see? We took the ferry while coming, but I'm going to take a different route now. <laughs> My colleague told me there's a footpath to cross the river. It's a tunnel, foot tunnel under the river. I'm so excited about it. See, this is the place. This is the first time I'm coming here. They've got a lift also, but let's take the stairs. That can be more exciting. Kind of narrow steps. I don't know how deep this goes. There are many people who are walking through this. Why did I not know about this before? <laughs> I've come here a few times but didn't know. This crosses beneath the river Thames. I just read that it was opened in the 19th century and approximately 4,000 people use this tunnel each day. It's 1,215 feet long and 50 feet deep. This is the first time I'm using this tunnel. It's really nice. Oh, it got damaged in Second World War. See, and they repaired it. This portion, I can see the difference. I can see the wall difference here. They've redone this. So much history in here. I'll be taking a DLR from here and then I have to go to London Bridge to get under the train. My neck pain is better but it's still there, still it's uncomfortable. Party is home today, so I don't have to rush to pick up the kids. Party had already started cooking dinner by the time I went home. He was making chicken for the kids and for him. And he has made a special paneer dish for me with lots and lots of vegetables. Thank you for watching till the end. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!